He was brown and gray and had this long, thick tail. It was just, it was amazing. I felt like I was blessed to see such a, an amazing creature. Officially, they, they are no longer here in the eastern United States, but of course, there are, there are many reports. Most situations come in with no physical evidence at all. It's simply what the person witnessed. Some situations come in with photographs or actual uh, physical evidence of what they saw. That's where I saw the mountain lion jump right up right here, and he headed down that way and went back down nowhere on that side of the tracks. These are wild animals that can be very dangerous. Uh, and if they're in your neighborhood, the more they get used to people, the more dangerous this may become. And of course, the more sightings there will be. Right about here, there was a clump of hair that was about that big. They're very light, but you can still see some scratch marks here. Someone's been attacked, something happened. And that's when I saw him. He was just covered with blood. This scrape was found here in New Hampshire after a cougar sighting, and then this scrape was found out west, and this was definitely done by a mountain lion, but I really feel that these are very, very similar. The state is really doing the public a disservice. They should uh, admit they're here, give people some uh, information on how to deal with it if they should encounter one, because you cannot treat them as other animals. We should be letting the public make the decision on the basis of evidence as to whether or not we need to take any steps 